everybody, it's DJB, and from the title of this video, yes, it's true. I am going to Briarfest 2020, Celtic Fling Celebration, and I'm so excited. I can't believe it myself, and I needed to announce it to you all so that you know that I will, in fact, be attending the festival. Well, I officially spoke too soon on this video. I waited too long to post it. Today I sit here on April 13th. I received the news today that Briarfest 2020 is in fact cancelled. <laughs> uh, basically everybody knows what's been going on. Uh, COVID-19 has really swept over the world. So about three weeks ago I lost my job because my whole town is like quarantining and all the businesses have shut down. Everything is closed, everything is cancelled. Canada has been really proactive about cancelling things and making sure that people are self-quarantining. And so I wasn't sure when all this happened if Briarfest was still going to happen. And honestly, I was wishing that they would cancel it, even if like this whole thing was to clear up for July. It's way too many people congregating in one space. It's totally the right decision on Briar's part to cancel this event entirely. The announcement from today basically said that they're going to try and move Briarfest online. They said there's going to be more information at the end of April. I think it's the first Briarfest that has ever been cancelled. Correct me if I'm wrong. It sucks because this was finally the year that I was committing to go and I was really excited about it and planning and I've been saving. I mean I was booking things last summer so <laughs> it's been a wild ride and it's kind of sad to see that it is not going to be happening this year. One live show I go to every year has also been cancelled so everything like that I had planned for this year has been cancelled. <laughs> I did in fact lose my job which means that I have been a full-time model horse artist for just under a month now and it's been really neat trying it, seeing what it's like to actually be full-time. Um, I'm not selling anything because the market isn't amazing right now, but I'm interested to see like where this takes me. I may potentially consider doing models full time just because it has been going pretty good. I'm not getting sick of it. I'm not getting bored of it. And like I wasn't super upset about this whole COVID thing. I was kind of like sweet, a, like adult mini vacation and sweet. More time for me to do my YouTube and my model horses and the customizing. So I was pretty stoked about, you know, not having to go to work every day and kind of getting my opportunity to try things full time. So I'll continue to let the rest of my Briarfest spiel go because it was, I was in a good mood when I was recording it. I will be trying to attend for the future years, probably 2021. It really just depends on the situation. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching and happy quarantining because that's what we're all doing right now. <laughs> So I've wanted to go to Briarfest ever since I was little, I mean specifically in the years when I started collecting briars pretty heavily. Briarfest was something I always wanted to attend and always wanted to experience at some point in my life. Kind of like a now or never thing for me. I'm never really going to be ready to go to Briarfest, I'm never going to have enough money to go to Briarfest. This is the year I decided 2020 was going to be my year and I'm going to Briarfest. I am going with my mom, we will definitely be wearing DJB merch so that if you see me in the park you can come and say hi. I am planning on attending a lot of the workshops actually. I actually live on the west coast of Canada and Briarfest is like on the east coast so I have to fly basically across the entire country and then like into the US to get there so it takes a while. I think the flight is six or seven hours, but I live in a really small town so I have to fly to a major city and then go major city to Kentucky. My mom and I are actually going three days before the festival to just hang out in Kentucky and kind of explore the horse park before Briar Festival starts. I hope to see some of you guys there, it would be so cool to meet up with some of you. It's a little nerve wracking because uh, I feel like I come across as more confident behind the camera, but in reality I'm not sure I'm that cool, <laughs> but I'm going to try and be open-minded about it and really not shy. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see some of you guys at Briarfest.